Hey guys, uh, this is me Tim and I'm just wanna, it's about 10.30 at night and I'm just kind of showing off a little uh, um, Python project. Um, I'm using a combination of GPIO zero light, uh, module and GUI zero, or GUI zero uh, module as well. Um, what I'm muttering about is I'm using a graphical interface, um, two sliders to move the two servos um, using my Raspberry Pi here. And I'm using an um, uh, uh, external power supply, just three volts, you know, um, two double A's, so 1.5 volts each. And I'm go ahead and I'm using my wireless keyboard to, you know, um, uh, communicate to my Raspberry. So here we go. I'm going to use the slider bars above and see if I can catch this all in one perspective here. All in one shot, I mean. Alright, so I've got up and down. And he's a little jittery uh, just because the power supply is not, you know, uh, a solid stable power supply. It's actually the batteries are draining as you know, every time you're using it. So it's, unless you have like a steady power supply, uh, it works great. So it's, this guy's a little jittery. So I got up and down and now I'm going to go to the, uh, my uh, other scroll bar. And now I got left and right. And so this guy is pretty much, uh, my intent is to make him a IR transmitter and receiver on the back you can see there's a little IR I don't know if you can see it now uh, there's a little circuit board that has a uh, IR and uh, transmitter and a receiver and so I'm going to use this pretty much as a line of sight IR remote control control my TV control my fire my uh, fireplace and Control my Roku, uh, so that would be a couple, uh, maybe a couple days away from uh, doing the looking up lurk file and whatnot. So just showing off there, pretty much. A took me a little while. <laughs> uh, before it was like, okay, I have a GUI slider. Okay, doesn't control nothing. And so, finally got it. Got one slider to work, and I was like, "Cool, all right, I got one slider. I can move one position, you know, just like this." So I'm like, "Sweet." And then I the trouble of making another slider. I was like, "Okay, got a second slider," but here's the code. Um, it took me a while to get, and I'm just I I got kind of tired. I was just using the. Uh, Donnie instead of using a uh, text editor like Nano or um, using Atom or PyCharm because uh, it's like 1039 um, even though it says 349 on my Pi I haven't fixed the time yet but anyways what I was getting back to is I was having two um, sliders but they won't act independently uh, one if I use the uh, let me get back to my GUI here. If I was using a top slider, it would, you know, control both motors. And I was like, well, I don't want that. I want them to work independently. I want so I had to figure that one out. Um, so finally got to a point, a stopping point where it works. I got left and right, and I got up and down. Um, in the grand scheme of things, I want to uh, have a Lego factory. I know, yeah, and Legos, you know, where, you know, what are you kid? You playing with Lego still? But if I get to a point where I can start using um, PyTorch and start doing some AI, uh, I want to have a uh, uh, pretty much a sorter um, where the uh, Raspberry Pi would be programmed to a point 
where it would sort bulk Legos by not only by color, but by size and shape and, and have it run down a conveyor belt and, uh, and just uh, drop into a uh, container. So that's the ultimate goal there. Right now I'm just kind of getting an idea of how much is going to be involved. I have a conveyor system that I should have put in here real quick, but you can't see just yet. I'm still working on it. Um, but uh, quick, uh, quick uh, preview to the future here. Uh, this is pretty much my Lego factory, which is going to be sorting Legos. I know I'm, you know, 30 something years old. I'm still playing with Legos, but it's going to incorporate some programming. And I thought it'd be a really cool thing to show off. Right now, this guy just lights up and he's sort of like a automated drill. Pro well, not automated yet. I still have to hook up some uh, servos using a Raspberry Pi. So this is going to be like a drill press. And you got the uh, spinny feature, and then you got the up and down feature. Um, this is not going to be part of my s functionality wise for my sorter. It's going to just pretty much be like just for aesthetics that it's in the background running. Uh, it might come down, up and down in the uh, linear position and drill, but it's pretty much just going to be for show um, with a few automations. This is a uh, uh, where you know pieces are gonna be like a um, like a grinder kind of thing, but once again, this is not really gonna be. It's gonna be spinning. The wheels are gonna be spinning, but it's not gonna be really uh, part of the Lego sorting. It's just gonna be in the background, you know. So you have these. Uh, it's you know these. I don't know if you can see in there, but the wheels, the grinder. Uh, it's, you know, so I have to automate that. Uh, and left two wires hanging off each so I can uh, communicate with them. Um, it's going to be a little bit install uh, with my coffee cup here. Uh, my next step is I have some vehicles in here and I would like to get to a point where not only they have the LEDs light up and all that, but for them to be fully automated using um, a Raspberry Pi powered by a battery pack and run independently um, using a line followers and uh, other type of sensors, um, touch sensors, and and I pretty much want that to be picking up uh, these um, shipping containers that you know we call them Lego, you know maybe a, a shipping container like a Lego ship, and and I pretty much want them to you know it's going to take a hell of a lot of automation and a hell of a lot of time and um, personal time. To do it but I pretty much want to make a automated uh, Lego system uh, if it gets me a programming job one day that's cool if it doesn't then at least I have some cool Lego um, you know thing to brag about you know on my YouTube page without stepping on a cat here <laughs> so yeah that's uh, that's nerds nerd life <laughs> so anyways have a nice day